Has anybody sat in their truck drinking a little bit of caffeine with a butterfly kite and eating their egg sandwich? Just knowing that these are the last few non hectic moments that they're about to have. There goes my phone before planting season. Let's get to work. Today is going to be the start of spring planting, which we're not probably going to plant in this video. Maybe. It depends on what we get done. Do you think we're going to plant in this video? Depends on how long it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we are working on kind of a monotonous job here this morning. Um, but we are changing all of the drive chains on the Kinsey corn planter. And then we are also upgrading the seed tubes on the planter. Last fall, you guys saw actually a video where we upgraded the meters on this Kinsey planter right here. From the edge vac to the true rate meters. So we should be able to plant better with this planter here. And with these new seed tubes, we should be able to monitor it better. So that's what we're working on and then kind of getting this planter ready to go. Today is actually technically the day that we could start planting, um, but obviously we are not ready to go. And then on top of that, the other thing that we have going on is that last year for uh, the beginning of spring, do you remember this? The cystic fibrosis uh, mm -hmm. donations that we did? I'd like to do that again. So my nephew Jet, who was diagnosed or born with cystic fibrosis, we raised almost $4,000 last year, uh, thanks to you guys for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. And we're gonna try and do that again this year. Uh, Molly will have everything set up with the GoFundMe link down in the, list, down in the description below. And uh, Molly and I will match up the $500 worth of donations this year. And everything will get donated to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation under my nephew's Jet's name. And actually here's my sister a little bit to kind of tell you what the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation does. My name's Katie and this is my son Jet who turns two years old in a couple of days here. Jet has cystic fibrosis, which is a genetic disease um, passed down to you from your mom and your dad. <laughs> Working on your farm puzzle, buddy. Um, every year we like to raise money for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, which all allocates money to <laughs> drug companies, research companies, programs that really give people with cystic fibrosis the best access to medicines, therapies, and, you know, overall lead to the best possible outcomes for them. Cystic fibrosis, um, like I said, is genetic, but it does mainly affect your lungs and your digestive system. Essentially, your mucus is just too thick, too thick and too sticky to function properly. So other than um, just being a normal kid, he does have to do some vest therapy to kind of break up that mucus, and he has to take medicine to help him digest his food. But other than that, he really just likes um, Spider-Man, his dog, and his chickens. So with the upgrade last year, we did not put the meters in. Um, waited to do it until now. So, box. Comes with what I think they call their little knockout wheel. Blues for corn, I hope anyways. <laughs> About to try the plate corn with bean meter. Then you push the button right here, twist this, pull the plate, this off. Already has the spring there, so you don't need the spring that comes with it. And uh, in there like that, knock that wheel is in. Hopefully I'm putting that in the right way. I bet it only could go in one way, can't it? Yeah, it can only go in one way. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that you're an expert in knowing not what you're talking about. Check back in next year. We'll be experts. He'll be an expert. Cal goes in, not that way. Goes in this way. And then twist. Lock it on. Put this faceplate back on. Twist it on. And then up top, our setting. Twos for corn. We're starting out in the middle. And then I should be able to dial it in really nicely with the in command and the new seed meters that we've gotten put on. I'll try and hold it still. Okay. How'd I do? Good. The best. Excellent. This is the best. The best. I really don't. 
Take them out a lot? No. Well, guys that plant a lot of corn and beans with the planter probably do. Let's see if I can find some of them. Even the sensor's unplugged right now. Yeah, yep, those are gonna unplug if less. If the meters, am I gonna have to sit here and <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> only like 30,000 seeds in an acre, I don't so. Know what to keep up with that. So since these have new seed tubes in them, each seed tube has a serial number assigned to it. And then it runs through a harness, and they need to be plugged in in an order. Which I believe the term of that is mucks bust. So it learns a new serial number. So basically here's the ones I haven't removed. So if you view it, right there's the serial number of the sensor. Because that serial number's in there, that's the sensor that it's trying to look for for that row. And install. We'll get back with you as soon as this is, which will actually probably be tomorrow. We'll see you guys in the morning. So last night we finished up the mucks bust. The tubes be programmed in the monitor. So you have to start at row number one, work itself all the way through row 24 took a little bit of time but we got it done um, and then also you have to hook in all the other sensors too uh, such as like the shaft speed sensors the bulk fill sensors uh, the vac sensors the down pressure sensors you gotta let it re-learn all those sensors this planter is getting pretty close Andrew's taking off uh, to go get some new batteries this is Colt uh, you guys will see him maybe a little bit helping out now and then but we're gonna put two more row units here together and then this planter, after I get steering into that tractor right there, we'll be pretty much ready to start planting corn whenever we get ready. Here comes the batteries up the hill. So if you guys missed the video where we upgraded the planter, we're going from the edge vac meters to the true rate meters. This is an upgrade. Um, we got to steal a couple of parts off of the old brackets here, which is the rain cap and the uh, air seed delivery neck. that disc for where uh, my dad's doing some dozer work for my secret project we've got going on and then also the CRP probably gonna try and basically disc out those cedar trees it's a thought
Well, I just gave Colt the 10 minute university rundown on how to run the quad track and do a little tillage. It's, uh, he's ran some tillage before and he's ran tractors before, but never anything to that magnitude. So he's just gonna take it slow, take it easy. And uh, he's got shy 90 acres here. He can work on on the rest of the day, get to know the tractor, get to know the tillage tool. Uh, I've got to turn around and head back. I think they've, uh, Walker Welding came out and is working on the land all getting the walking tandems on it. So hopefully we can have another tillage tool going. I'd really like to have the ground tilled 24 hours ahead of when I would want to be planting it, you know, let the moisture things kind of settle back out. Um, so if we can get some more ground tilled here today, maybe start planting heavily tomorrow. Sunflower is doing a decent job. I mean, really pretty decent. It just has issues where it leaves ridges like this every now and then. Like, see those ridges? And then it will also roll up the soybean stubble a little bit, which that's not bad, but it's like I'd rather not have that because that causes air next to your seeds. I'd rather see a little bit it doing a little better job, but possibly a, a different tillage tool could be on my wish list for the end of the year. Was a little tough on this guy. But probably fed some bald eagles. If you don't know what that is, um, I believe the species term for those animals, it, I think they pronounce it government goats. It looks like the land all is up and running here. So I'm uh, installing a back pressure kit for the fan here, the back fans. So these fans, people have commented on in the videos, is that um, they used to sound like like they'd pulse. And uh, what that is is that the fan would start spinning faster than the motor, so it have to slow down and then catch back up, catch back up, catch back up. This is supposed to put a little bit of back pressure on it, so that that doesn't happen. We got one on the other side and we're putting one on this side. There we go. That is uh, that. I need to add some hydraulic oil. <laughs> I may have gotten a little bit everywhere. Should be well lubricated. So next thing on the list is just ran and got Andrew, wherever he is in this GoPro thing. He's been out uh, disking in some washouts. Uh, we gotta get some urea spread and uh, disk the washouts for those guys and then also makes it nicer for us when we get to go in there and till it up but then just grabbed him we went and grabbed the uh, gooseneck trailer here we're gonna push a water tank on up on up 
on up up it on up on up up <laughs> we're gonna put on we're gonna put a water tank onto that gooseneck so that when we get to planting we can uh try and run both sprayers to get the pre-emergent onto the corn our next chance of rain saturday don't know how many acres if any we'll get in before saturday hopefully we get a chunk in because dad just took off with the land all and uh he should be tilling he's on uh 100 acres we had three tools, we, we, tools running at one time we had one that's broke one that's working good and one that's somewhat put together I'm not younger than this. <laughs> no, I, that I'm not older than this. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't I take know that. I don't with that. You want it's to back older us up? Than you are. I, did, I didn't do a very good job on the way that I, I should have come through the other way. I shouldn't have. Yep. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Brain, brain fart. Not good. First spring video, already having brain farts. That's good. <laughs> go give it a try Andrew I'd say fire it up I'd say let's go give her a shot okay so we're gonna turn on the hydraulic drives this should be the air seat delivery it should be showing there's the bulk scale bulk pressure it's three so right now I'm just priming the seed meters that looks like it wants to plant I can tell you right now that those backs right now sound so much better with those kits on. It's like they're it's quiet, they're quieter even. So, yeah, not Masters on. I guess we said uh, we weren't going to plant in this video, and I think my shirt's dirty enough that we can end this one, because uh, I think tomorrow we're planting, hopefully. Start so, out with a fresh video. Start out with a fresh video, and, and a hopefully fresh a fresh shirt. <laughs> so I guess just turn it inside out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andrew just asked if this is a half pants on start very much, so 
So I'm about had to be half pants on as dirty as he's got here today. So I guess that means that this is the end of the video here. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. That makes Andrew pretty happy. And uh, like the video on the way out, and we'll see you guys in the next one. And I'll con I, I like your comment if you comment. Yeah, I like it. I read it and like it. If it's not stupid. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Say cheese. Cheese. It's a nice bird, huh?